Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how we can do a text reveal title effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So if I move the timeline closer to when the fade effect starts in, what you'll notice here is that the title is fading in not at the bottom of the screen, which would be what you would have from a standard position adjustment, but rather that the text starts to appear and disappear at the middle of the screen. And not only that, but if we zoom in here a little bit, you can see that as it fades in it doesn't do it all at once but it's more of a smooth transition into the center of the screen and then at the end of the title clip it does the same in reverse where it disappears not to the edge of the entire video but that it disappears somewhere in the middle of the screen as well with that same feathering making its fade out a little bit smoother so I'm gonna switch to a new timeline here and we're going to recreate that title from scratch so as you can see, I already have my video clip and the audio music that I'm going to use here. So I want to go to the effects library, which is in the top left hand corner, titles, and then text plus. So in DaVinci Resolve 15, text plus elements have more features that allow you to customize it way above what you can do with a normal old school text element. But with the text plus element, we're mostly going to be adjusting the position. And we're actually gonna do the work of the fading over on the color tab. So I'm gonna switch there now. And what we're going to do is set up a layer mask. So to create a layer mask, we want to go over here to the window tab. It's in the bottom middle of the color tab. And you'll see various shapes here. So the one I was using to create that title before was the rectangular shape. So if I click here, it will add a rectangle to our video. So you can think of this rectangle as the bounds where text will be allowed to show on the video and then everywhere above that, to the left of that, or to the right of that, is going to be hidden from the final video output. So I imagine that with your title, you only want it to fade in from top to bottom or bottom to top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually gonna stretch these white lines you may also notice these little red dots, which help to control the feathering effect, how dramatic you want the feathering to be. But I think the defaults are pretty good here. So we're gonna take these white circles and drag them straight off to the left. And then I'm also going to take the right circle and move that straight to the right, trying to keep them lined up as well. So what this will mean is that if our title takes up more space, a little bit over here to the left and a little bit over here to the right, as long as it's still within this box, it's still going to show the entire title all at once. Now if I want the text reveal effect to happen sooner as it moves from bottom to top, I could drag these bottom circle points down, or I can leave them where they are. And I can also, of course, take the top point if that's relevant as well. So I'm going to use this bar here as our main display zone. Now, in order to take this window box and use it as a mask, I'm going to need to create an alpha output in this node editor over here. So you can add one by doing right click, add alpha output, and then you want to connect the alpha output of this node where we have the window box and drag that to the video output. So this should make the text with that window appear with a black background, but we're going to filter the black background out. So in order to do that, we simply use the qualifier tool. So if you go over to the qualifier tab, right to the left of the window tab, we can select the black background in order to filter that out. And then we can select the black background, which will qualify only the black background, um, hiding the text, which is white, but we're actually gonna invert the selection so that the black background hides but the white selection remains. So now if we go over to the edit tab again, we should be able to see the effects of the window in combination with the qualifier. So I'm going to select my text here and go over to the video tab in the inspector that's in the top right. And I'm gonna move the position before we set keyframes. So just to make sure that when the text exits the box, we should see it fade out with the feathering. So I'm going to increase the position here until it starts to fade out. And we can see that little feathering with the text disappearing before it actually hits the bounds of the screen, which is exactly what we were looking for. And if I lowered the text position down here, we should see the same thing, but in reverse. 
So with that, we have our mask set up properly. So we're going to need to set some position keyframes in order to actually animate it. So for frame one of this title sequence, I'm going to put the text below the mask box to hide it. So with Y position over here in the inspector, I'll do something like minus 400. And then I will click the diamond to the right of that to set a keyframe there. And on the timeline, there'll be a new icon here to show keyframes. I will open that up just to see what we are working with. And now if we go to any other point in the timeline, we can set a new keyframe where the position will be in the middle of the screen rather than hidden off of the mask box. So here in a random position, this is 24 frames in, I'm going to set the position of Y to zero. And when I do that, it automatically creates a keyframe. You can notice the diamonds being added to the timeline here. So if I go between these two points, DaVinci Resolve is going to automatically animate between those. So on frame one, it's hidden off screen basically. And then we move in a little bit and the title fades into the center until it reaches the center. And uh, it'll remain there until we change the keyframe position again. So we could go now to the end of this clip and maybe add a new keyframe, meaning this is where and now we can add a new keyframe in here. Now it has the same Y position as the second keyframe, which means that between the second and third keyframe, there's actually no change in position. So we're just holding steady there, which is important because you want to define when your animations actually start and end. And now I'm going to go to the last frame over here and we can make it something like positive 400. And if I hit enter here, it's going to automatically create a keyframe at the end of the animation. So what should happen between the third and the fourth keyframe is that the title moves up and fades once it reaches the boundaries of the mask. So I'm going to go a little bit here and we can see the title disappearing until it is completely off screen. Now, if you ever want to adjust the timing of your keyframes to make the animation slower or faster, you can click on any of these keyframes and adjust their position time by moving them to the left or right. If you have a longer distance between two keyframes, that's going to make the animation slower. And if your keyframes are closer together, then the animation will speed up. So let's play this back and see what we've got so far. Okay, mind the choppiness because of course it's pre-rendering everything inside of DaVinci Resolve. But we've got the basic effect in there. So we can add some text here like I had before. So I could call this Jungle Rumble. Maybe I want to decrease the size of the text. So I will lower this to, let's say 0.2, a 20% decrease in the text size. And I can change the font. So I found a cool free font online called Jungle Fever. Um, seems to be fitting for this video. So seems to be fitting for this video, but the text once again is too big. So I'll lower the size to 0.15. Note, if you wanted, you could also animate the size by setting keyframes for the size in the same way you did for the position. Now at that point, you basically have it done, but if you do want to do everything exactly the same way I did, we can also change the color to a gradient. So I will show you guys how to do that real quick. So on the inspector for the fusion text, we're going to want to go over to the shading tab and make sure you're on select element one where it says white solid fill. That's the default color and uh, fill settings for the text. And we're going to change the type from solid to gradient. So now we need to select two colors for this gradient. So the starting color, we can left click over here and I'm going to select some shades of green. So the first one will be somewhere around here. And then the second one will be a slightly lighter shade of green. And we'll put it somewhere around there. So that gives us a color fade from the bottom where it's a little bit darker to the top where it's a little bit lighter. And that's going to be it. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video on how to create a text reveal title effect instead of DaVinci Resolve 15. I hope you guys learned a lot and I will see you guys in my future video content.